hi guys hope you all are doing great we are doing great but uh, it's very hot here in goa in fact this month of march is feeling almost like the month of may so very frankly when it's this hot uh, we are not that much in the mood to go out and eat because even stepping out into this afternoon sun is quite daunting so we thought today we'll make for you one of the dishes which we love to eat which is goa's green chicken curry which we often uh, eat at night with bread uh, we are not expert cooks as we have told you before so we are following the recipe of alves fernandes who is a genius and very dedicated chronicler of goan recipes before we start maria and i would like to extend a warm welcome to our new member steffi vals of our channel hi steffi thanks so much for joining and supporting us so now without further ado we'll show you the ingredients for alves goan green chicken curry So we're going to make this recipe with one kilo of chicken, which Maria has cleaned, chopped, and washed. We're also going to need one and a half tablespoons of vinegar, some tamarind water, juice of one lime, one and a half teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, half a maggi cube, one large chopped tomato, one very large potato, cut into big cubes, two chopped onions. and two sprigs of curry leaves and here is the ingredients for the masala for the green chicken curry here we've got uh, four sprigs of coriander leaves three green chilies four garlic cloves little more than half an inch ginger two big kashmiri chilies quarter teaspoon jeera seeds just a little less than 1 inch of cinnamon 10 peppercorns 10 cloves and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder so those are all the ingredients we need to make our goan green chicken curry before we can start cooking we'll marinate our chicken Maria is adding enough salt for 1 kilo chicken which is 1 heap teaspoon of salt per our taste. Now she is adding the ginger garlic paste then squeezing juice of one whole lime. Now we have to nicely mix all the marinated ingredients into the raw chicken making sure we reach all the pieces. We we'll leave our chicken to marinate while we make the masala for our green chicken curry. To the mixer, we add the coriander leaves, garlic, green chilies, ginger. Then we'll add both the Kashmiri chilies. Then we're adding the cinnamon, peppercorns, jeera seeds, and finally the turmeric and cloves. We we'll grind in just about half cup water to make the masala. Here's the ground masala. Take care to grind it well because this is a mix of dry spices and fresh ingredients. So you have to grind well such that the dry spices are fully ground. Now we are ready for the stove. We heat two generous tablespoons oil in a pan on high heat on a medium sized burner. Once the oil is nicely hot, we'll fry the onions enough till they turn white. Fry, stirring and breaking up the onion pieces. It took us about 5 minutes. It can take you more or less depending on your flame and burner. That's the color we want. Now we'll add the tomatoes, mixing them well into the onions. Fry well, stirring every now and then till the tomatoes are well cooked. It took us nearly 10 minutes till we were satisfied with the tomatoes. Then we add the marinated chicken and stir well to coat with the tomatoes and onions. We let the chicken cook on the high flame for 2-3 minutes. Then we mix in the potato cubes and cook for another 2-3 minutes. Now 
Now we'll add the green masala for the chicken curry, cleaning the mixer or bowl with a little water and cook for 5 minutes. Next we crumble the half maggi cube into the chicken and add the tamarind vinegar and curry leaves. We could not show all of that because our camera became very hot and switched itself off. Mix well, turn the flame to medium, cover and let the chicken cook till done. It's so hot this late March afternoon that our dogs, who usually go on high alert when chicken is around, are not willing to budge from the cool floor. After about 10 minutes, we open the lid to give the chicken a stir. At this point, we check the chicken to see how much time is left for cooking, how much liquid remains and we also check for salt. We'll give it another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, uncover and check the chicken and potatoes for doneness. Ours are done, but we like a slightly tight gravy, so we'll cook it open on a high flame for a few minutes more. The gravy has thickened and the chicken is well cooked. So here's our going green chicken curry. We'll be making many such recipes as the summer gets hotter and we retreat further indoors. Maria is going to give it a taste. Tasty. Hope you guys enjoyed our Goan Green Curry Chicken recipe. Thank you, Alvis, for another delicious recipe from your home to ours. Thank you.